Salam and welcome back to the second episode of Recreating Icons. For those of you who are new here, my name is Visha and I make graphic design related content including photo manipulation, poster designing, logo designing, motion graphics and today icon designing. If you haven't watched the first part of this series, do make sure to check that out. I will leave a link to that in the description. With that said, let's begin. Alright, so now we are inside of Adobe Illustrator. Um, first thing you want to do is um, go to view and make sure that um, you are showing the grid. You also want to make sure that um, snap to grid is ticked. What I have here is um, a guide on which um, I'm going to be making the icons. Okay, so I'm going to take the ellipse tool and um, press alt or option and make a circle just like that and take the selection tool and press the shift key and make sure the fill is black and the stroke is none we're gonna want to make another circle just about here now we'll take the selection tool and we're going to select everything and we're gonna take um, the shape builder tool press alt or option and click in the middle that will cut out that part. The next thing is um, take the ellipse tool and just create a circle just like that, three by three pixels. Take the selection tool again and we're going to align this just like that. And we're going to select all of this and select the shape builder tool. Press the alt key and minus just like that select the ellipse tool again and make another circle from this point press the alt key and the shift key to uh, keep the size constant we're going to swap this um, fill to none and select the selection tool and we're going to align the stroke to inside just like that and we're going to increase the weight to maybe 12 i think and go to object expand appearance and then take the ellipse tool again and we are going to create another circle just like here let's select everything the shape builder tool and just click right here in the middle we want this part and go to selection tool and click here delete this delete it. and we're going to take this line segment tool just make a line in the middle we're going to give it some stroke and make it expand click ok and just select these two take the shape builder tool and press alt key and just remove this part and we're going to take the rotate tool and just press alt or option on the Mac um, and click in the middle just like that and type here um, 120 and press the copy button right here and we are going to repeat the process that we just did by pressing ctrl d there it is um there's the biohazard icon just realized this is one word all right so next up um phone icon i'm going to select the pen tool and um just come up here and just click here and here and here and here just like that make a shape just like that now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna select the reflect tool and just click here and I'm gonna press shift and alt and I'm gonna rotate it just like that and I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to unite both of them in the pathfinder and I'm going to select the direct selection tool and I'm going to select these points and I'm going to curve them and I'm going to create a rectangle just like that select both of them and go to pathfinder and minus front and I'm going to select the direct selection tool, select this point 
and just curve it select these two points press in the shift key to select multiple points and curve them as well and then we're gonna curve this guy as well so as a final touch we can curve these guys just a bit maybe six five yeah so yeah there you go there um, is your phone icon we're gonna rotate it just like that I'm just a shift key all right so next up shutter icon so what we're gonna be doing is uh, we're gonna take the rectangle tool and we're gonna draw a rectangle just like that make sure it goes through the middle right here and we're gonna take the direct selection tool and just bring this guy up here maybe and we are going to select the rotation tool and then just press alt and click here and type here minus 60 and press copy and then what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna give it um, a stroke just like that maybe stroke outside and then what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna select everything go to object expand appearance select all of them and we're gonna go to pathfinder and minus front right click ungroup we're gonna delete this part and we're gonna select this guy again and we're gonna select the rotation tool and just press alt click here and type here minus 60 again and press copy and then repeat that process by pressing ctrl d and then go to the ellipse tool and make a circle just about here press alt and shift and then select all of them take the shape builder tool and just minus these outer areas by pressing alt key click 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 just like that and minus the inside as well there you go there you have a um, shutter icon okay next up recycle icon so take the rectangle tool and make a shape rectangle just like that and go down here and make a point just about there and delete these two points take the rectangle tool again and make a rectangle just like that make another rectangle right about there and select all of them and go to the rotate tool and just alt click in the middle and just type here 120 press copy and do that again by pressing ctrl d and select all of them and we're gonna combine all of them by using the shape builder tool just like that and we're gonna select the direct selection tool and just select these points minus again this guy as well just like that and we're gonna select these two points and these two points and these two points and we're gonna give a corner radius of uh, maybe 20 maybe 15 yep next up a scissor icon i'm gonna select the ellipse tool and i'm gonna make a circle just like that and i'm gonna swap um, the fill to the stroke and i'm gonna increase the weight and i'm gonna change the stroke to inside maybe eight and then i'm gonna select the rectangle tool click away and then I'm going to create a shape just like that change um, the fill to inside and select these um, two corners press the shift key and move it outside just like that and then move this guy to here maybe and then click here this point you're going to decrease the radius just like that and we're going to select all of them and um, take the rotate tool just click here and we're going to rotate it just like that and we're going to take um, 
the reflect tool and we're going to rotate it to the anti-clockwise press the alt key to copy just like that and we're going to take the selection tool and we're going to copy this guy down here just like that and we're going to select both of these layers and we're going to minus this guy so now we have a scissor icon maybe increase the stroke weight just a bit more all right guys i hope you'll enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe if you did and make sure to leave a like and comment down below what i should make in next i hope i'll see you guys in the next video until then so long asking for a sign from you cause i'm so broke inside i'm feeling lost this world has me so confused all these nights i'm praying i